Hey, did anyone see you come in? Yes, I know you work here, but, you know, come in here, this part specifically. You know what I mean? No? Okay, good. We'll get inside then. Ah. Hey. Mm. Ah. Well. Good to see you in one piece. For once. <laughs> Even your many, many scars are healing. No, they're not going to look good. Just saying. Although I'm mainly saying that so you don't run off and find uh, another man. <laughs> Maybe the most practical idea, to be honest. Well, let me see, because right now you're sneaking in. And, like, you could just walk in, right? But we both feel like it's going to be different from now on. Because we know what's happening. Even though no one else would know what's happening. We could just hang out like normal people, you know? And no one would notice anything weird or different. But no, we're sneaking around and skulking around as if we have... As if we're doing something wrong. As if we have something to hide. If, uh, <sighs> yeah, I do know why, thank you. I... I'm just saying, it's... <laughs> I don't like having to hide. I don't like having to pretend that there's something wrong or some reason that I shouldn't just be able to say that this is the person I'm with, you know? Anyway, how was your day? Am I okay? I mean, I don't know. I just, <sighs> I'm just frustrated, I suppose. I really, really want to just be able to have a relationship with you and not, and not care and not, you know and just say to anyone and everyone, hey we're together we care about each other, this is what it's going to be you have a problem with that you can speak directly to my asshole I don't care you know, other people get a date, whoever the hell they want why can't I <sighs> I feel like some sort of pet, you know, having things dictated to them and this is when you can eat and this is when you can go out inside and it's so, like I understand that young people are rebellious or whatever, but like, come on, this is ridiculous. I just, is it wrong, <laughs> really? Is it wrong that I just want to tell your parents, my parents, anybody's parents, just some sort of elder person at this point? I just... It's one of those things where it's like, because you feel you have to hide it. I almost, you know, gaslight myself into thinking there's something wrong with it, and there isn't. There just isn't. But... We have to run around and act as if, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's absurd. I got, I mean, if you're going to handpick someone for me to be with, surely it's you, right? Someone we know, someone we trust. Someone who understands this. Someone who could, you know, reasonably work with us for their entire life. You know, regardless of us being a thing. So, wouldn't this be the perfect person? Or am I supposed to just go my entire life unfulfilled? I mean, I exist. 
right? So my parents were allowed to have kids. My parents were allowed to have a life, a relationship, a love life. But I can't. How does that make any sense? At some point... <sighs> yeah, well... I know it's... I know the idea is to protect us and to not open us up to any problems, but... I mean... There's sacrifice, and then there's just not living. And I'm supposed to just not live, I guess. At some point, you can't be scared all the time. You can't mitigate every possible risk. You can't spend your whole life trying to not have any problems happen. Look at what we do. <laughs> Look at who we are. We're surrounded by risk. Even just from the fundamental point of view, we're not protected by the law. We can't exactly go to court. <laughs> we're in what well, may as well be a vigilante justice system here. How can we, of anybody, talk about the idea of having issues or problems that can't be solved that we can't do anything about we do everything ourselves everything for ourselves we protect ourselves we fight for ourselves we solve all of our problems ourselves and it's just so frustrating that there's this one thing that i'm not allowed that i can't yeah, I'm just forbidden from completely. Of all the illegalities, all the things we do. <laughs> and this completely normal, maybe not mundane, but everyday thing. A relationship. That's where I can't go near. It's not even have. It's the prospect of... Uh, and then I worry that, well, what if I'm just building up in my head at this point? What if it's like, well, you know, things that make me unhappy, things I'm not satisfied with, that I kind of point it all in the direction of a relationship. And if only I found a person, then everything would magically get fixed. And I know that's not true, but it, it kind of feels like that the hope for things to get better ends up being all with, well, the magical person, aka you. And if I was allowed to just be with you, things would be so much better. And I wonder almost if I'm putting too much pressure on it because I was like, oh, well, obviously there's an initial phase where things great and amazing, but what happens after, you know? And all the studies that have been done that show people can return no matter what amazing life thing happens to them, they return to a sort of base level of happiness. It's why the people who make, you know, millions and millions are people who are hyper successful in their careers aren't any more happy than anyone else. Because at the end of the day, there's always that way in which they're not succeeding, you know? There's always things you haven't done. There's always things you can't do. So what if... I'm spending my whole, you know, hope, I guess, on you and on the idea that I get to just be with you openly. And then imagine we got that, but in a few months' time, it's just replaced with something else. And then at that point, I'm just, you know, almost not being who you deserve to be with. And maybe... <sighs> Maybe I'm not worth it, you know? I mean, it's not like you can meet someone else who's just not got so many problems. <laughs> I mean, I could ask you to run away with me and what good would that do? 
It's not like we can actually just disappear. <laughs> this isn't the 1940s where it's not easy to find people. How simple it would be for us to get tracked, you know? And if it was a problem before, you know, that one or both of us could get kidnapped and held to ransom, once we're out of a protection net, well... <laughs> And who knows, maybe there's enough animosity around right now to where someone might just hunt us down just to hold us to some sort of ultimate ransom, you know? I really want to be with you, but... I just... You deserve to be... Do you know what? I mean, even... It's not even just... I deserve. Why do I not deserve? <laughs> it's crazy. I feel like a petulant child for saying I deserve this, but I do. Or more to the point, if it's not so much I specifically deserve it, at the very least don't deserve to be deprived on it or of it when it's it's right here. It's right here. You're right here. I'm right here. We feel the way we do about each other. Why is that not okay? Why can't that just be allowed? Why? It's so ridiculous. And I... And I'm sick of feeling like I'm not allowed to be me. No, do you know what? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I, I'm gonna tell him. No, I'm telling him. I'm just telling him, look, this is what's happened. We're together. Deal with it. Like, if you have a problem with it, that's lovely. That's that's wonderful. That's your problem. But there's someone we know. There's someone we trust. There's someone I care about. And... And that's just reality. You have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. But it's not going to stop it from happening. Because why should it? I'm supposed to just be some sort of... Lost person forever? No. I'm going to tell him right now. What? He's not going to kill us. Well... He's not going to kill... Well, he's not going to kill us literally. <laughs> no, he's not. Do you really think if he hurt you, if he laid a finger on you? I'll make it very clear to him. If he tries to do anything to mess with us, he's losing his son. There is one thing when I understand that when it's to protect me, it's another thing to actively hurt me intentionally I don't care what they think is right at that point well I'm going now no 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 you can't stop me I'm going because we're not hiding anymore because I refuse to hide anymore because if I spend one more day trying to hide, no. At some point, I'm just going to stand up for myself. And I'm not going to sit here looking at you and letting any of this crap cloud my mind from just being with you and enjoying what we have. I'm going right now. If you want to stop me, I'm treating it as you breaking up with me. Because I'm not staying here any longer. I'm either going forward and telling him, or I guess we can call it a day here because I'm just not, I'm not pretending anymore. I'm so done feeling like this. 
And if he wants me to feel like this, if I'm supposed to be some sort of trapped animal forever, well, <laughs> he's going to have to kill me because I'm not accepting it. What'd he say? Oh, right, yeah, you're still nervous and everything. <laughs> he just hugged me and said, what took you so long? <laughs> it's, um... You know, the more I think about it... I wonder if the real... Well, not the real, but part of the reason that he didn't want me to date, quote-unquote, is because he only wanted to be someone who understands I get that I <laughs> but at first I said I'm seeing someone and he started to look angry and I said who and the second I said your name his face just completely changed it went from the kind of slowly building I'm going to break things to oh excellent superb couldn't have picked better myself. <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm... I don't even know what to say. I... Do you want to go talk to him? I promise it's not a trap or anything. I swear. He's so... Well, I maybe wouldn't say he's so happy. But he is happy. He's... He approves of the choice. <laughs> and I think he also knows that I wasn't gonna, you know, stay trapped forever, right? I'm so... <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> come on. No, seriously, come on, let's go see him. Come on, let's go. It will be fine. Come on. <laughs> 